Um, now getting onto the temperature thing, the whole point of this talk is let's think about data as having temperatures. So everything we've been talking about up until now is this real time data, which is this Corgi case for Jurid um, and does drive a large chunk of the roadmap. And, and you can think of this as hot data in terms of temperature. So um, on the left, I have this picture of uh, hot Cheetos and Takis and some other hot stuff. Um, and what, what defines hot data is the queries need to be fast. So the queries need to be sub-second to just a few seconds. You need to operate on fresh data. Uh, it's going to be a high concurrency system because you imagine those, those videos that I had a few slides earlier. Um, even one user can drive a substantial amount of load and you're going to have a lot of users on these systems. And it's also going to have highly interactive workloads. So having a lot of users, interactive workloads means high concurrency. So this, this combination of needing fast queries, fresh data, high concurrency, interactive workloads is what hot data is all about. Um, that stands in contrast to, to cold data. Um, you know, the whole point of thinking about temperature scale is we have, we have hot and we have cold. So cold data, on the, uh, the picture there is we have this warehouse of um, government cheese and uh, this is your data warehouse. Your data warehouse is where you put your cold data. Uh, so in, the, in your cold data store, slow, work, slow queries are okay. Um, you prefer them to be fast, but you know, it's fine if they're, it's fine if they take a while. Um, less fresh data is okay. Uh, so you don't need to have data that is up to the second. It's, it's okay if it's a few hours old or even a day old. Um, you're generally going to have low concurrency for this cold data. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be driven by a s relatively smaller team of analysts. It's not going to be used by everybody in your company. Um, and uh, it's going to mostly be used for reporting and for planning. So not highly interactive workloads but workloads where most of the queries are reporting queries or planning queries that are sort of figured out ahead of time. So that's, that's hot and cold, the two ends of the spectrum. Um, but what about warm? Warm is, uh, do we have warm data? Um, we actually do. A lot of, I think that, that there is a lot of warm data and warm data is pretty interesting. So it was for warm data, we have this nice warm loaf of bread straight out of the oven. Um, everybody's baking bread these days. So that's what we have here. Five to 30 second query. Um, you don't need queries to be sub-second. Of course, you'd always like it if they were, but it's not really necessary for warm data. But you do need them to be fast enough. And what fast enough means in this case is they can't be a minute, two minutes, five minutes. They need to be fast enough that when someone issues a query, they're not going to be tempted to um, get up and go get a coffee or switch to another browser tab and start reading the news. You know, they can actually it takes a little while, but they can keep paying attention. Um, so five to 30 seconds. Uh, less fresh data is okay, still here. So we're not looking at real time up to the minute data. Um, we are uh, okay having data that's, that's a few hours old or a day old. Um, but we do have high concurrency. So unlike cold data, we are going to have a lot of people trying to do stuff here. And it's going to be somewhat interactive. So that's what's driving the need to have these uh, somewhat faster, warmer query times. Uh, we want to do somewhat interactive work. It's not purely reporting. Um, it may not be as uh, you know, aggressively interactive as those pivot videos, but uh, it's not going to be just pulling reports. Um, so this is, I think actually a lot of data sets fall in this category. These are data sets that you do want people to be using throughout your organization for decision making. Um, but you don't have a necessarily strong need to make them available in real time and make them available as a hot data set. Uh, 